Hey, Highlander here. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, saving games on the Ultimate 64. The Ultimate 64 is a Commodore implementation using FPGA. Uh, and I've seen a lot of questions by people asking for a feature that will allow them to save uh, the game uh, in the state that you want to. So say you bought a game like I've been streaming some Rescuing Orc. Um, and I've been playing the first level, uh, which uh, I'm proficient at by now. But every time I die in the second level, I have to play through the first one. And, you know, um, there are several reasons why you would want to save a game in its current state. So you, you can come back to it. Now, uh, the Ultimate 64 doesn't have an option to do that. There are technical reasons for that. Uh, as far as I uh, understand the um, uh, the FPGA code, if you will, doesn't see all the hidden states that the, the computer that it implements can be in. So I suppose technically you could save the entire state of the computer, but possibly that would be uh, too big. Anyway, uh, Gideon, uh, the creator of the Ultima 64, said, well, perhaps technically possible, but difficult. Also, he says, why would you want me to implement that in the Ultima 64 if there are plenty of cartridges that already offer that functionality? True. So I've made a video before. Um, let me explain. You had uh, super snapshots, action replays, and a number of other cartridges that you could put into your Commodore. Uh, and you would, during the gameplay, press... Uh, freeze button that would freeze the game and you could save a copy to disk to a disk drive that you had connected to your Commodore. Great. Um, much, much later, um, the 1541 Ultimate uh, came in also by Gideon, uh, which basically uh, acts like you have a disk drive attached, but also it has the added functionality of being able to emulate the cartridges that I've just named. Uh, and as you can see, it's got three buttons on the on the end of it. Uh, one is a, a regular reset button. The other is um, by default the one that takes you into the uh, the ultimate application. And the third one is the freeze button. So if you uh, set the 1541 ultimate to act like it has a cartridge in the slot, this will act as the freeze. Um, now, I've made a video about how that works. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you want to see that again. I made that at a time when I didn't really understand what was going on. I'm a little bit further now. So um, uh, anyway, it, it'll, it'll show you how to do it. But uh, now to the Ultimate 64, because uh, the Ultimate 64 has only one button. It has a power button. And if you tap that, it'll... When, the, when it's off, it'll turn the machine on. When you tap it when it's on, it'll take you into the ultimate application. If you hold it a little while longer, it'll do a reset. And if you hold it really long, uh, it will um, turn off. But there's no freeze uh, option. There's no way of... It's just one button. I mean, it's, it's, it's crammed with functionality as it is. But it's just one button. So how do you get into the freeze option. I have to say that the Ultimate 64 also implements the 1541 Ultimate and thereby also implements the, uh, uh, the, the cartridge emulation. So you can basically load the same cartridge ROMs as you could with the 1541 Ultimate. So it, it works basically the same. But how to do the, the, the freeze? Now, uh, the freeze works like this. While the game is playing, you have to uh, press and hold the power button, like the, the one button that the Ultimate 64 has, and then tap Restore. So you have to do these at the same time. Um, and then the, the whole thing will act just like you expect. So I'm going to uh, show that. Uh, I, I've recorded a little footage of, of how that works. So uh, let's just have a look at... Um, uh, how it works with uh, Rescuing Orc, which, by the way, is a great game. 
Okay, so let's have a look at the, uh, at the Ultimate 64 and how it works. I'm in the main menu here, and let me just show you that I have the Retro Replay cartridge on the first line. Uh, I have all the original ROMs installed, so this is the only th thing that has uh, any meaning in this case. You can try any of the other um, carts that will make a snapshot. I think the action replay and the super snap uh, snapshot will do that. Um, perhaps some of the others as well. This is just the one that I'm that I'm going with in this case. So, uh, looking at the main screen, this is what your Ultimate 64 would boot into because it has uh, the cart installed. Uh, first, I'll press F1 to configure memory. That sets up the memory to make the image uh, easier, or smaller at least, according to the manual. Now I'll mount the disk for the game. We're going to try Rescuing Orc. I'm going to use the auto-load one. And I'm just going to load the game. Okay, so the game is loaded, uh, and we'll we'll play just a little bit into the game to show that it actually does a save. Okay, so now I've made it to here, and uh, this is the magical place where I want to uh, start my save. So what I do is I press the power button, and while holding it, I tap restore. And it brings me into the backup menu, as if I had pressed the freeze button on the, on the cartridge. Now there's a couple of things. If I press F1, it's going to start making a backup. And then, when it's done, it wants to save it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going into the uh, Ultimate application, and I'm going to create a disk, create a D64. So, we'll call it uh, Save 1. It's created a disk, and I'm going to mount it, mount the disk. That takes me back to this menu, and I'm going to press A to do a disk save. And I can name it, so uh, I'll name it Rourke 1, and it'll start saving the game. Okay, when it's done, it'll give me a disk status, and it's saying that it's uh, it's gone okay. I can press a key, it'll take me back to the menu, and I'll press C to restart the program. So now, I'm, I'm back in the game. Uh, which is uh, which is all nice and dandy. And what I'll do now is I'll um, reboot the Commodore 64. Uh, I'll install fast load. I'll see which disk we have installed right now, which is the save one. So I can load this. And hopefully it'll respawn me back at the point where I saved the game. I'll run it. And there we go. We've saved and restored the game. So this is uh, uh, nothing special um, that the Ultimate 64 adds because this is all done by the cartridge that we use. But uh, Figuring out how to press the freeze button on the Ultimate 64 was kind of a thing. So the, the secret is to hold the power button on the side and then tap the restore button, and that will do uh, the freeze. So I, I hope uh, that's been helpful, uh, and uh, I wish you a lot of luck uh, saving and restoring your games. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.